Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. God, I thank you and I praise you. I glorify and I magnify your holy and your righteous name. I thank you for this opportunity to just be a blessing to anyone who is watching right now. I thank you for this divine moment, this moment where I am having an experience with you. You have invited me to invite others to come and experience you as well, to experience your goodness, to experience your love, to experience your kindness, to experience your grace, to experience, oh God, your everlasting mercy that is new to us every morning. God, I thank you for it. I thank you, Heavenly Father. I thank you for whoever is watching this broadcast, oh God, that may be in a low place. Whoever is watching it may not know even where their next meal is coming from, may not know what their housing situation will be like in the next 30 days. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for supernatural, for supernatural manifestation of your riches and your glory, oh God, for the person who is watching right now and literally finds themselves, their, their back against a wall. I thank you, Heavenly Father, because you are a miracle worker. I thank you, Heavenly Father, because you are a way maker. I thank you, God, for turning our lives around. I thank you that when we feel like we can't make it through, that you will show us how to make it through, that you will lead us, that you will guide us, that you will never leave us alone. We thank you for bold faith, Jesus. We thank you for bold faith in the name of Jesus. Continue, oh God, to give us not faith in our GPS, not faith in the chair that we sit in, not faith in our job or faith in other people, but God, help us to have faith in you, oh God. I trust you. I have faith in you. I believe in you, Heavenly Father, and I thank you right now for resurrecting the dreams, for resurrecting those things that have been so suppressed inside of me, things that society has suppressed, things, oh God, that situations and circumstances have suppressed. I thank you, God, that that which you put in my belly will begin to rise up like living water. I thank you, God, that whoever is watching this right now who feels like giving up, that you will allow your spirit to rise up in them, that you will allow them to recall and remember their first love. God, help us to come back to you, our first love. You are our first love. You are the source of our strength. You are the strength of our life. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment thou shalt condemn and show to be in the wrong. I thank you, God. I thank you, God, that I can, that you who are watching this broadcast right now, you can do exceeding abundantly above all that is asked or imagined according to the power that works inside of you. Where is your power? Where is the power that is working in you? You have to know that the power is not coming from your electric company. Your power is not coming from these lights that are around me. The power is not coming from any of those sources, but our power, our strength comes from our heavenly father our lord and savior jesus christ god you are the source of my strength god you are the strength of my life and i thank you that the joy of the lord is my strength so when i am weak i can call on the lord when i am weak i know that you are strong i know that you will never leave me nor forsake me so i can walk boldly i can come boldly to the throne of grace i thank you heavenly father for a bold faith i am not even looking at what is going on around me I I cannot worry about it. I cannot be distracted because it's just a distraction. It's just a distraction and it's just a test because what you have for me is for me. What you told me, it shall come to pass because you are not like man that you should lie. So I hold on to your words, Heavenly Father. I hold on to the word that you said to me about my life, that I am healed, that I walk in healing, that I walk in prosperity, that I am healed physically, that I am healed mentally, that I am healed emotionally that I am healed socially, that I am healed spiritually, hallelujah, Jesus, and that I am healed financially. I thank you, O oh God, that you shall not hold withhold any good thing from me. I thank you, God, that I will not walk in lack, but I walk in prosperity. I walk in a wealthy place. I walk, O oh God, in a place of abundance. I thank you, Father, that I am what you say I am, that I am who you say I am. I thank you, first and foremost, that I am enough because I am your daughter. I need you to say that with me. Are 
are you enough? I need you to say it, whether you're a daughter or a son that's watching today, I am enough. I am enough. I am healed. I am healed because God's word says that I am healed by his stripes, by his stripes, I am healed. He was bruised and wounded and beaten for my sins, for your sins. So I am healed. I am free. Praise the Lord. I don't have to wait until I'm six feet in the ground. I don't have to wait until you're pronouncing ashes to ashes, dust to dust over my body to know that I am free. I am free right here while I'm walking on this earth. I am free from the bondage that has just tries to suppress me as a woman of color first and foremost, but as a child of the most high king, I am free. I am free and I will no longer allow others to have opposition or have have control over me because the Lord has set me free. I thank you and I will not keep myself in bondage. I thank you, oh God, that condemnation and self-condemnation is canceled right now in the name of Jesus. Why? Because I have bold faith. I am walking boldly. I am walking boldly. I am speaking boldly. I am enough. I am healed. I am free. I am delivered. I am delivered. I am delivered. I am set free. I am am wealthy. I thank you for that right now. I am a friend. I am in tune with those who are closest to me. My children, my husband, my parents. I am attuned. We in tune. I am in sync. I thank you, Heavenly Father. I thank you, oh God, that I am your child, that I can receive all of the benefits, all of your benefits that you have for me. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. When I can't see it, when I cannot see it, I thank you that I can still speak it. And I'm going to speak it. I'm going to speak it until I see it. I'm going to say it until I see it. I'm going to say it until I see it. I dare you to join me right now in making that declaration. I'm going to say it until I see it. I'm going to say it until I see it. I thank you right now, oh God, that I have faith over fear, that I have faith over the enemy, that I have faith. Oh God, hallelujah. I am going to say it. I am going to say it until I see it. What is it that you need to see? What is it that you need to be liberated from? What is it that you need God to do for you right now? I don't care if you're watching this clip 10 years from now. What is it that you need God to do for you right now? Say it. Be bold. If it's something that I can do in my own strength, it's not big enough. It's not bold enough. Restore your marriage, he can do it. I know your spouse cheated, he can do it. Turn the wayward child around, I know. They got a crazy sentence. They got a crazy sentence, 20 more years before the even possibility of parole, God can do it. God can do it. Restore the relationship that you have with your siblings, God can do it. Restore years of abuse that you feel that you've experienced from the hand of your own parents, God can do it. Do you have the bold faith to ask God to do it? Faith that can do the impossible. Faith that can conquer anything. Do you have that kind of faith? I pray that God will give you the kind of faith that will move mountains in your life. It's time for us to stop living beneath our potential. We have to stop in Jesus' name. It's time for us to be and do all that God has called us to be and do. I want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. <laughs> I want to be faithful over a few things, knowing that God will make me ruler over many. I want to hear God say, come on, welcome into the master's joy.
and not cast me out for being an unprofitable servant. Take the leap. Take the leap with me. I'm ready to exercise my bold faith. Are you? Take the first step. Share this video with somebody and inbox me. Let's talk about how we can go higher together in Jesus' name. Amen.